think so. Yet another PB and a world lead. You must be pretty satisfied. Yes, I'm very satisfied. Today, I just came out, listened to my coach to execute the race perfectly and to finish injury free. The time will come. I'm not depending on any time, not looking forward to running fast or anything. I just want to finish the race injury free. You came on quite strong from hurdle six. Was that always the plan today? Yes, that's always the plan. I run the hurdles as I will run the back four events. Okay, and kind of what kind of training do you do in for that kind of to come home strong in the race? Oh, I do intensive training. <laughs> I can't tell you the secret because in case you don't tell you the secret of the ingredients, but I'm doing heart training, I have great teammates, great friends, family that is motivating me and I think that's the factor that's pushing me very well in the competitive competition this week, this year. So this is your second ever Diamond League and your second win of a Diamond League. Would you expect that at the start of this season? I didn't expect to start the season with a bomb like that, but I hope to continue the same way going into Rio and hopefully to be a medalist in the Olympic Games 2016. So I read in the news this week that you find uh, Khalees Spencer is one of your idols. What's it like competing against her? Uh, I have two idols, Blaine Walker and Khalees Spencer. To compete against the great is a very good feeling. You use those people to motivate you and the field was a very competitive field with Mrs Doyle, Molly and Tate and Spencer. So competing with them was a very good feeling for me today. So as one of the younger athletes on the circuit, do they give you any advice? Uh, I, you know, we don't really talk that much to give advice, but good luck, all the best, good run is a great feeling for the coming from them. So I just went out there to do my best. Okay, bye-bye.